these offenses have been in fine form. But what will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And the 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. And Charles, they trail here, though not really the fault of this offense. No, they certainly did their part in the first half. But when you're in a shootout like this, you definitely want your defense to play better, but you know that's out of your control. All you can do, keep putting points on the scoreboard and keep giving your defense opportunities to make stops. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Third quarter starts with a run from Moster. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. On second down. It's Craig, takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. On third and one, here's Young. That'll be caught by Rice. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And now here's a carry heading left. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. On back to back plays, there, and that's another first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities, and we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. Young looks to throw on first down. The open man is Clark, complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. They yeah, have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. They'll run on first down. Craig. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. First down, Young. He finds his man complete. That's Rice. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. A nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Come up now on second at a yard. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. The running game's played a huge part in getting him down to this point on the field. 
I say stay with it. Keep pounding the football. Keep driving. Keep grinding. Yeah, even down in the red zone. Keep going for it. No doubt about it. Dance with what brung you. They'll try and run for it on first and get it up. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. If each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is up to five. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And in the end, it's capped off by a seven-yard run. Touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25-yard line. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. They'll try the left side. Simpson, and he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. If you're the coaching staff upstairs, you might want to follow that play away. Did you see how fast the safety closed on that one? Coming up and run support, made a big-time tackle. Might want to try and check it to a pass next time. Yeah, got him for a loss. Really, really great play defensively. Third and 11, and some extra depth of the secondary here. They're in the dime. From the gun, Ferguson. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42, and he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him, and what I mean by that is what you said, third and long. Got to push it down, feel to try to pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's had a good third quarter. He likes whatever adjustments were made at halftime, whether those were team adjustments or just him talking to himself. And whatever that conversation was, it was pretty good because he is running really well here in the third quarter. But I like to think it is a team adjustment. Offensive line, those big escorts of his, they figured out how to block a little bit better. And he's found those holes to run through. He has indeed. Following the interception, Young. This will be caught inside the 10. He'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. As if he didn't have enough to think about on that route, the comeback route, coming back to the football and catching it, decided to make sure he toe-tapped and kept himself in bounds. And that was spectacular, but on the comeback route, maybe a little easier to deal with the sideline since you, you've got better vision of it? I think that's a great point because you should know exactly where you're going and know how much space you have and make sure you get your feet down. But, yeah. 
coming back to the football. I like it. Good vision. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yes, now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try to put it in that way. Second and goal from inside the five. They go back to the ground, this time Mostert. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Young with it, third and goal. And he hauls it in, in the end zone, touchdown San Francisco. A great play there, there to make the grab. And the 49ers add six to their lead. Gold to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive, four plays, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. Side to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's got a man complete. It's Clay. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Six yards left on second down. Back to throw, Ferguson. He's got his target, it's the tight end, Knox. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. trail here as we begin quarter number four. On first down, it's Simpson, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. 
I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. To throw on second down, Ferguson. He's going to let this one go deep. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning and touchdowns, so this game is flipped. They were down, now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. And Young's throw there incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And again, this Buffalo defense there and run support to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here? And what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. Here is Young. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that'll bring up fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away and trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Bills going to take over again on offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. On 
first down. Ferguson. And this is Simpson with a catch. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Second and eight. Looking to throw. Ferguson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw a zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result could be something you don't like. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Young. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Three yards the gain there, second down. Young will set to throw. His throw incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and seven. Now Young. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are right back in this football game. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And the interception that ended their previous drive, that might be one we look back on and say that was the turning point of this game. Hey, partner, guess what? There's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game. They're only one score down. Yeah, true. We could have some twists and turns. Stay tuned. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. The object there was to get the ball to him on a quick slant, see if he could get loose and take one the distance. But the defense was prepared, and incompletion results. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Play action, Ferguson. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Hot 
separating from the gun. Ferguson. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. And Nick Bosa so quick on the outside. He gets in there to bring him down. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. The Bills send the punter out. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays. They're going to gain yardage, how would you say, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. No gain on the play there, second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. This is something you've got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. On first and ten, it's Moster. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Coming up on a second and six. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Young. He finds his man complete. That's Rice. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Take a knee. Oh, 
hands it off out of the gun. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. How about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Spotted at the left hash. This from 45. And this one is right down Broadway. And the drive will wind up yielding three. Well, I know it points to this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard. You're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball <laughs> parks, right? Seeing the 14-11 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. 